as human beings, we are one of the worst swimmers on the planet. Uh, we lose our swimming instincts at probably about two or three months. So we always got to be working on our technique throughout. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about today is making sure that we are always trying to be as long as possible in the water and stretching out. Many swimmers end up swimming with short arms and pulling across our side. And we always want to make sure that we are stretching as far as we possibly can and making ourselves as long as possible. not only with our shoulders and our hips we're always making sure that we have a neutral head position with our head back a big misnomer a lot of people like to swim with their head up as they are swimming and we always want to make sure that we are looking down not only for efficiency but for the sake of our own bodies not getting injured as we swim so making sure that as we swim we're driving with our shoulders and our hips back and forth fully as we slide through the water if we stay really flat in the water as we are swimming we are going to get a lot of drag and we are going to slow down, making sure that we are always trying to get all the way onto our side on every stroke. like they're a windmill kind of spinning around we always want to make sure that as our hand comes around it's not taking our next stroke out in front and so your other hands just about past your head and switching as you come through of our swimming stroke is the catch in the pull uh, and what that looks like in the water if you're laying flat in the water with our legs behind us if we can use our imagination is that we are starting every stroke with a elbow bent high elbow catch with this you're keeping your elbow right at the surface of the water and then pulling all the way through from your hip from here all your elbow needs to do is either swing up or swing around and enter back to start your next catch when we talk about a high elbow catch, we don't mean the elbow is so high that it's outside of the water, which we mean in a relative term is that the elbow stays near the surface of the water, but it stays still underneath the water. When you start your stroke, every single time, your hand is entering nice and smooth at a little bit of a downward angle. You are catching the water to the point where you are making almost a 90 degree angle in the water and then starting your push back towards your hip. So your elbow's going down and then pushing all the way towards your hip. In the next part, we're gonna show you a drill that you can do to help work on this. <laughs> 